It's release day and we've got a brand new Streets of New Capenna collector booster box to crack into. Welcome back to my channel. I am Matt Caster Mage and I do make Magic the Gathering content every single day here on YouTube. So if you do enjoy my videos, please consider subscribing to the channel and joining in on all the fun we have here. Streets of New Capenna. Yes, this is the second collector booster box we're going to be opening up on this channel and these are going out to people who watch my channel. You've purchased packs. These packs are yours. Without further ado, let's crack into it and then we'll name whose packs are going to be in here. All right, let's get out Christian's knife, slice into that packaging. Okay, let's see what we're going to get here. All right, collector booster box. It obviously has the box stopper here, which is Gala Greeters. So there's 12 in here, but we actually have more than 12. We're going to be entering this box break, and we have right here, I'll show you. First is Coach. Coach, you got two packs. James C. with the one pack, and then we got... Chris G with two, and then we got Raymond, 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 Raymond with the one pack, and then we got another two here going out to Petra, that's for you, and then we've got Jacob Feldman here with two packs as well, and then we got Richard A., Going out to you here, and then we have two more packs. One second, I'm gonna grab them. We got two more packs here, and this is going out to Grundy Matthew Grundemeyer. All right, here we go. So, as you can tell, there is 14 packs here. So I'm actually gonna do a random number generator on my phone to see who gets this box op topper instead of a, well, I don't have a 14 sided dice, so I can't really do it with that. But without further ado, let's crack into these packs, shall we? Let's start all the way on the top right with Jacob Feldman. Let's get a little more closer to the camera for everyone watching at home. All right, first pack, Jacob. Good luck, my man. Let's see what you get. Oh yeah, these packs are way more difficult to open up than any of the collector boosters that came previously. I guess that's a good thing, but it's just uh, it's just frustrating sometimes. Look, look, yeah, oh, even hear it there. Jeez. Okay, we're gonna go straight to the sauce. So we got a nice swamp there, followed by a Roka, and then we got a Skybridge Towers with a Skybridge Towers again in foil. Hope you like that color combination. And then we get a Black Market Tycoon, which is your first rare in this pack. Nice Cat Rogue. And then you've got a Skyway Robber as your commander card with a Horde Hauler as well. Nice vehicle. And you've got a Cabretti Ascendancy. Not too shabby. But, oh, you got a foil rare here, and it is Rafine's Tower. Very nice. Plains Island Swamp. I hope you like Tricycle Lands, my man because you just got a nice foil right there for you. Beautiful. Not too bad. I think uh, yeah, I think the land at the end kind of saved that pack for you, Jacob. Apart from that card, wasn't the greatest pack, but that, that, that definitely added value to it. Okay, well, here's your second pack, Jacob. My God, they're... is it possible they're getting harder to open up each pack? My God, okay. Again, we're going straight to the sauce. We got a forest here. Mr. Orfeo, Botanical Plaza, with a Keza, Augur of Agonies. Oh, there we go. Two back-to-back. -back. Wow. Jet Mirror's Garden, Mountain Forest Plains. Uh, I like to call that Naya. Nice cycling land there. With a Mythic. This is our first Mythic in this booster box. And it is And Hello the Painter, which is a commander card. Legendary creature, Vampire Assassin with Death Touch. And then you get a workshop war chief with. Oh yes, you got your. We got a Phyrexian text card. I think in our last booster box we didn't even get one of these. Congrats! I think this is Urbrask, right? Yep, beautiful card here, my man. 
Yeah, your second pack was just straight heat, my man. Okay, Tenuous Truce is your next card, and then you get a treasure token there. My goodness, Jacob. Congrats, that's why people should be cracking packs on my channel whenever a new set comes out, because I just th I think my, uh, my luck is the best for these collector boxes. So far, I haven't opened up enough of the Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. Maybe next. Speaking of next, Coach, you're up next. Let's see what you get in your first pack here. Alright. Okay. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? Swamp here. Shattered Seraph. With a Nimble Larcenist. Botanical Plaza. And you got a rare foil here. It is a fight rigging. <laughs> Two, uh, what was that? Two rhinoceroses pounding on each other. And then we get a rare here, a Misfortune Teller. I love that. And we have a getaway car with a Mythic Sanctuary Warden. All right. There you go, coach. Not a bad Mythic there. Nice Angel Soldier for you. Then we Oh, my God. And hello, the Painter Foil Mythic Commander card. My God. We just pulled this. Uh, Jacob just pulled this in non-foil. Beautiful card there. And then you get a token Ogre Warrior. Okay. Yeah, there's no way to sugarcoat that. That was a pretty sweet pack there, coach. Pretty sweet pack. I think we're doing, what is it, four Mythics so far? So they're definitely uh, juicing up the Mythics compared to the last set. Okay. My god, these packs. My god. Okay. Let's see. Oh, beautiful island there. My god, that is stunning. Quasa Augur of Agonies. We got a Skybridge Towers with an Obscura Charm. And we got, oh my god. Halo Fountain. Another Mythic. Five Mythics so far, guys. Nuts. Absolutely insane opening. Okay, and then we get a Damning Verdict with a Fight Rigging again and a Rare Obscura in, uh, Interceptor with another Foil Rare, even Heartstabber. Okay, not too bad. We'll take it. Five Mythics. Pretty nuts. I think, Coach, you had uh, pretty good luck there, I'd say. I, I think you did pretty well. I think you did pretty well. Speaking of pretty well, I think James will do well as well. James C. Well as well. Okay. Let's see what we get in this pack for James. Let's get right to the forest here. Beautiful forest. Racer's Ring. We get a Langrella, the Magpie. Oh, there we go. Our first gilded card here. Glamorous Outlaw. That looks stunning. God, every single time I see these, I'm always blown away. They, they literally, they remind me of Kaladesh Masterpieces. I know they're obviously not as valuable as that, but still, nonetheless, they're beautiful. Mysterious Limousine with a Next of Kin. Structural Assault. Soul of Emancipation. And we got Evelyn the Covetous with our Ogre Warrior token there. Okay. All right, that wasn't too bad. I mean, you got a Gilded card there, James. That is pretty sweet. You only get about, I think, roughly around four of them per box. So that's pretty good. Pretty good luck. Okay, Chris G. Cracking open your first pack, my man. Let's see what we get. Okay, good luck to you, sir. We got an island there. Next up is a tramway station with a Cormella Glamour Thief. Glamorous Outlaw. We just got that in Gilded in the last pack. Foil Rare Workshop Warchief. Xander's Pact with an Evolving Door. And we've got Rigo, Streetwise Mentor. And a Foil Rare Shakedown Heavy, Extended Art, and our token. Okay. No way to sugarcoat that one. That one did not feel good. It did not feel good, that pack. But hopefully your second one. You get a lot better luck than that. Let's see. Come on, Chris. Still at five mythics right now. My mythic tally. If we can get at least ten, that would make this a pretty insane box. I think we're gonna get a mythic in this pack, though. Something tells me that. We got a foil mountain here, waterfront district with a maestro's charm, broker's charm, and a foil rare Tula's clever conductor, and an industrial advancement with a rabble rousing. And we've got, uh, there you go. I said we're going to get a Mythic, and a Mythic we shall get. Oh, nice, Borderless, too. Titan of Industry. 
Beautiful elemental creature with reach and trample. 7-7. Seven, seven. What a body on that. Beautiful card there. And then you get a rabble rousing again in foil. There you go. My god. Congrats. Six mythics so far. Six freaking mythics. Nuts. Okay. Next pack to crack. Which will be Raymond or Ramon. Might be might be Ramon. Considering your last name. Okay. There we go. We got a beautiful full art planes there with a masked bandits. Ooh, we got a crew captain and a river deer's charm with the river deer's ascendancy. River deer, river deer, river Jeez, I say that five times fast. And then we get a Silrix, carrier of the flame with a cut your losses and an errant street artist with a beautiful gilded foil soul of emancipation. That is stunning. My God, this one might be the most beautiful that we've pulled so far. Beautiful avatar there. Okay, and then you got your token in the back. Wow, that was nuts. Ramon, Raymond, very nice pack there for you. Very nice pack. Okay, let's put that up top there. And here we go. Petra. Two packs for Petra. Thanks for supporting the channel, Petra. You set me up something in my P.O. Box recently. A beautiful... It was a... A Almond Cat Invocation. Beautiful card there. All right, let's see. Swamp. Discipline Duelist. Glamorous Outlaw. Ooh, there you go. Gilded Foil. Lagrella the Magpie. That is stunning. Very nice. So that's our third, I believe. And then we get, there we go. Why not? Luxury Kiachiata's oh, Gift. Very nice. Very, very nice mythic pull here for you, Petra. I hope that gets a smile on your face. That is a stunning card. And then we get a Turf War here with a cut the pro of the profits. And a no Why not? Why not? Just get an Ur Herbaz Heterek Praetor. Okay. We just pulled this in the Phyrexian text, and now we got it again in the regular mythic. Well, this is the uh, showcase mythic, I think. My goodness. Yeah, uh, I think that, what is that? Our sixth, that's our seventh mythic, I think. I think it's our seventh. Might be our eighth. Right. I'm going to say it's seventh. That is stunning. Uh, what a pack. What a pack, Petra. And there you go. Why not? An etched foil, Giada Font of Hope. Why not? You got an etched foil, too. I, I mean, I believe it's etched. It looks etched. Either that or really faded. Wow, stunning. That was one of the best. That is just, what a pack that is. That, that's insane. You know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take a look at that again. That this is insane. This is nuts. This this was the pack here. You got Giada etched foil. We had uh, Urbrask. Yeah. That is. What a pack. That is nuts. That is insane. Congrats, congrats, Petra. And you know what? I think you still have one more pack to go, too. So, who knows? Maybe your second pack will be just as insane. Here you go, Petra. Your second pack. Okay. We got a folial, full art mountain. Capretti Charm with a Rakish Revelers. Spars Adjudicators and a Void Rend. Counter, uh, this spell can't be counter destroy. Target an online permanent be very useful in pretty much every format. Okay, Reign of Riches, Extraction Specialist with a River Tears Ascendancy and a Foil Rare Spars Headquarters. Yeah, why not? Why not also get a Full Art Foil Tricycle Land? My God. Congrats there, Petra. Seriously, your packs are just straight heat. And you get a treasure token there as well. Yeah, Petra, there's no way, uh, yeah, there's no way to to say it other than those packs are insane. Those are just nutso packs. Okay, Richard A, here we go, here we go. Okay. First pack, you got a dog token at the back there. Let's see what we get. Oop, you got a beautiful forest with a racer's ring, obscure charm, and there you go, maestro charm. Beautiful gilded foil. And then you get a horde hauler, weathered sentinels, a mysterious limousine, 
scheming fence with another gilded foil to lose clever conductor. That is insane. My God, what is that? I think it's our fifth or sixth. That, what? You got two gilded foils in one pack? <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, maybe they're not as rare as I thought at first. Maybe, well, it looks like the average is about four to five. So if that's the case, I don't, we shouldn't be getting any more gilded foils for the rest of this opening. Okay, Richard, next pack for you. Okay, these packs are really, really difficult to open compared to the older collector packs. Okay, here we go with a Plains and Aspar's Adjudicators, Corpse Appraiser, Shattered Seraph, Avon Heart Stabber, Flawless Forgery with a Meeting of the Five, a nice Mythic. I think it's our ninth, eighth or ninth Mythic. Beautiful card there. And then we get a Giada Font of Hope, Non-Foil, and a Foil Rare Corpse Explosion. Okay, not too bad. We haven't actually seen too many Triomes. I think we've only had three so far this box. Maybe we'll get one more. Maybe. We have two more packs to go. Let's see what we get here. Mr. Grund. Mr. Grund. Let's see what you get in your first pack. Good luck to you, sir. Okay. All right. And you've got a beautiful full art mountain there. Cabretti Charm. Waterfront District with the Masked Bandits. Evelyn the Covetous. And the Misfortune Teller. Nice rare undercover operative with another Triome land, the Naya one, Jetmer's Garden. Beautiful card there. So we did get another cycle, tricycle land, I should say. Tenuous Truce and a Devil token. That was a pretty decent pack. Would have been nicer if that uh, full art Triome, I'm going to keep calling them Triomes, the Tricycle Lambs was uh, actually a foil, but still nonetheless pretty good. Very popular color combination. The Naya colors. Okay, and we got an island here. Skybridge Towers, Disciplined Duelist with a Racer's Ring and a Fight Rigging with an Oscar Rubbish Reclaimer. Sanguine Spy, Agnes the Dragon's Lash with a Foil Mythic, Titan of Industry. Wow, that looks stunning. I think we've already pulled this in the non-foil treatment, but this looks amazing. Congratulations, Mr. Grund, Mr. Grundy. That is wicked. And that was your last... What a, what a last card to get in the pack, too. That was nuts. Okay, this opening was nuts. It was like 10 Mythics? Jeez, I think it was like 10 Mythics. We got. Before we go, I almost forgot. We're going to do the random number generator. I got 1 to 14 here. So number 1 is Raymond. 2 and 3 will be Chris. G, Jacob Feldman, you got 4 and 5. Coach, 6 to 7. James C, you got number 8. And the Grundy gets 9 to 10. Richard A gets 11 to 12, and Petra is 13 and 14. We got numbers here, 1 to 14. We'll get this a little closer. Oh, there we go. See there, 1 to 14. So now we're going to generate. And we got number 11. Number 11 will take home the box stopper, and that is Richard A. So congratulations, Richard. That's going home with you.